right have and have not fans my goodness my goodness I know I've done at least 20 videos today tomorrow is going to be all about editing it's Sunday now less than an hour left in Sunday then it's the last day of the month but hope everybody's doing well and I uh, hope you appreciate the work I do on the channel well no need to say that because I know you all do based off the numbers thank you all so much but uh, let's get this video to 120 likes hit that subscribe button hit the bell icon and select all that way you're notified whenever I post new content and finally Links to all of my social media that's going to be down in the description box below make sure you follow me on Twitter Instagram join my Facebook groups that way you can talk with fans of these shows all week long not just on the day that it comes on TV now one of the well reasonable gripes about the latest two episodes of the haves and the have nots that two hour premiere was who the hell are all these new characters now what I did was I compiled a list of all the new characters and some of these characters aren't necessarily like these two episodes weren't the first time they appeared but they are relatively new to the overall story so there might be a couple of characters here you're like well, Jeremy, they appeared before we went on hiatus. However, their roles were pretty small. But based off these last two episodes, it seems like they're going to be meant for bigger things. So um, I think, you know, I'm I'm recording right now, but I'm pretty sure if I'm not lazy, I'll go ahead and put a collage together of all the different characters. I'm just going to name them. Uh, Samuel is the name of the light-skinned guy that Laura is dating. And they're also the two who are going to potentially rob veronica blind you know they're working with david i mean derek uh then you have well you know what i think the easiest way to do this is to name the characters and then describe them briefly that's probably the best way to go Co uh, consider this like a character encyclopedia or almost like a, a pokedex <laughs> of um tyler perry characters so yeah samuel and laura laura is the new maid samuel is her boyfriend whatever i don't know exactly what they are but i'm guessing boyfriend but they're both in the same game of Getting these jobs, working for rich people, casing the houses, and eventually robbing the blind. Uh, Laura, we met a few episodes ago, and we all pretty much assume the same thing, that she's the body double or the stand-in, because the hood is going after Veronica. But at the same time, um, if she's able to fool them into thinking that she's been killed, but it was actually Laura, she can get away, probably escape. I don't know how she'll do it, but she'll figure it out. And then Samuel is going to be the object of veronica's sexual affection and possibly use that in order to get close to her so she's he's going to be the pool boy i believe he said that i'm going to come over tomorrow so pretty much the next day is when he'll come over to the house and introduce himself maybe you know i don't know clean the pool whatever the case may be uh then we go over to tanner he's justin's brother or one of his multiple siblings and apparently pearl was so worried about justin that Tanner was called to come from New York to go all the way down to Georgia to check on Justin to see what's going on. Why is he acting this way? When was the last time you talked with your wife? And also, if you don't stop messing around with um, these guys, me and the other brothers will come down on you and beat you down like we did when you were little, when you were caught with that guy in the locker room in middle school. So basically, Justin's brother. Uh, we also have Rihanna, who is... I guess you could say Sandy's ex-girlfriend because remember the Malones don't typically like African Americans but oh I'll make an exception because she's attractive uh, she served him with a restraining order in um, the episode power of attorney and Sandy doesn't really give a crap hey you be over in my apartment when my shift is over and that pretty much isn't the biggest role but at the same time you really need to pay attention to this character she was only in the show for about three minutes but I don't think this was just a brief cameo. I feel like there's something bigger going on around, um, you know, involving her. And I know it might seem like I'm kind of brushing over these characters without doing full descriptions. But guys, I've recorded damn near, if not more than 20 videos today. And I'm pretty sure I've done a video on all these various characters. So if you want more in insight into who these characters are and what their plots or my theories about them will be, you need to watch those videos. This video is briefly going through all these characters. Um, then we have Don and John, uh, their brothers, they're happy and they're singing in the color. I'm sorry, Wayne's Brothers theme song. Don and John are Catherine's accountants, and apparently they are upset because the maid, Hannah, was given power of attorney and executor, 
where they thought or assumed that they would be the ones given Catherine's situation. I mean, they're the, the account. I mean, honestly, I would be thinking the same thing. But as an account, it's almost like, you know, what was that movie? I haven't watched it in years. Maybe I ought to pull up Disney Plus and watch it. The Aristocats, where that butler had been serving the, you know, the rich woman for so long. So when she eventually passes, he assumed that, you know, he would be left everything, but she was going to leave it to her cats. I ain't going to lie. Given the fact that the butler wasn't family, I would understand that. You know, it's like, I'm not saying I would be a cat killer, but I would be like, I feel some kind of way, though. Who the hell would leave a fortune to a cat? Whatever. But in any case, it's like, well, 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 you're going to leave all your money to the maid instead of your accountants. But apparently they have their own agenda. They moved about $5 million in order to use it to fund their own business or something along those lines of business venture they have. And apparently they... It's hard to tell what their plan is. Like one of the brothers wants to get a judge involved in order to um, fight Catherine's decision in order to gain control. But Marty warns against them doing that because Catherine won't like that. And then another one of the brothers was like, you know what? You know what? Even though we've moved the money, what does this maid know about accounting anyway? Let's let it let let her take it. But then at the same time, she'll be the one to blame for the five million dollars missing. So that's probably something that they'll use against Hannah, because sometimes doing nothing is better than doing something, especially when it's a rash decision. Uh, then we go over to Riddell, who was introduced several episodes ago, actually at the beginning of this season. But we know him as like the main thug, uh, the one that has been involved with Veronica for quite a while. But at the same time, uh, it looks like he's going to have somewhat of a bigger role because he's somebody who's warning Veronica about the hood working against her. I know that um, Quita said that as well. But he also, oh, actually, no. Quita was the one that warned Veronica about the hood working against her. Riddell is the one who said that, hey, there's this foreign guy looking for you. That's He's referencing Akil working for Jim who sent to kill her. Uh, then we go over to Jimmy, who is the aged up version of the youngest son of Celine and Jim. He was a seven years old when he was first introduced, but for whatever reason, he's like a late teen early 20s character i have no idea what's going on with that basically came to tell jim what's what to make him piss his bedpan he pretty much spoke words with uh wyatt i don't know if he'll show up in again anytime soon hopefully he does and have a scene with uh, his mother but i did an entire video on jimmy but jimmy is uh jim and celine's son uh we go over to Alyssa, new character portrayed by crystal Lee naomi aka jasmine borders from sisters basically an a friend slash associate of erica and she used to work for candace as well one of the, her call girls basically her whole stick is hey erica sent me to tell oh well, excuse me if anything happened to erica she told me to give you this message and also heard you were good in the sack i want a piece of that enough said <laughs> then we go over to somebody i mentioned before akil we saw him first after uh, Jim had Benny abducted from the strip club. Akil was holding him hostage and was given orders to allegedly shoot him if the money wasn't returned to his account, you know, wise inheritance by a certain time. And then, um, you know, Jim chewed him out. But then again, he was up against the Malones. He had no choice. And uh, basically now he's assigned to take out Veronica. But also we learn he works for Oliver's father, and then by extension, Oliver, in order to make him happy, whether it be a drug run, intel guy, whatever he needs, that's who he is. And he's also watching uh, Candace for Oliver in order to get dirt on her. Biggest thing is she's got a pregnancy test. We don't know the results. And that's possibly going to be dirt that can be used in order to sabotage Landon and Charles. I did an entire video on that plot as well. And technically, let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten freaking new characters right there. And like I said, some of these characters have shown up before. But like Laura showed up, you know, a couple episodes ago. Samuel had a brief scene at the end of Bananas Foster. Akil popped up once or twice. Riddell popped up a couple of times. And uh, yeah, so basically a handful. And Jimmy, give or take, if you want to count young Jimmy as like, well, he technically appeared, but this is his first like bigger role. So most of these characters have popped up briefly. But in terms of the story of the last two episodes, it seems like they're going to be playing big roles as the show goes on. And we still need to meet William, a.k.a. Jeffrey's real father. And there are more new characters who are coming just to give you a fair warning. So 
I was going to include Officer Miller and Morris, but Morris got shot through the head, so I'm pretty sure he's dead. And Miller, you know, he might be the officer we're most familiar with anytime we go to the jail now, given the fact that Justin has been suspended. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm not going to count him for now anyway. So yeah, that's kind of a brief summary of all the new characters we were introduced to in the two hour premiere. And I can definitely see why, um, you know, some fans were confused by this because like a lot of people were saying, I'm watching the show, but all these new characters, it's hard to keep up. And on top of that, you got to look at the fact that these characters honestly ran the two hour premiere. You know, when you really think about it, the main cast were kind of shoved to the background while these other characters are running the show. And once again, if you watch my video about what were my thoughts about the two hour premiere, I go into more detail on that. But I hope this uh, offered more insight. And I know some people didn't even recognize who Mama Rose was. I didn't include her in the list because she's made a lot of prominent appearances, even though technically uh, th she's had two different actresses. But this is, I guess you could say the main actress that will be portraying the role until the show eventually ends but yeah she showed up for the first time in a while but um and i mean that actually could explain the uh the shaky continuity of why you know cat well catherine never met mama rose but as soon as it was mentioned who her name was catherine knew instantly honestly i think now that i think about it they probably only did that because she has been absent from the series for so long they need to reestablish who she was so actually it does kind of make sense in a weird way but um in any case thanks so much for tuning in i hope you appreciated this uh brief description of characters and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up also to round things off if you would like to donate to the channel feel free to do so on paypal cash app or you can join my Patreon for as little as $1 a month.